Welcome to another episode brought to you by Game Glitches. Today we're going to take a look at another attempt at trying to fix Dead Rising 3. This is the third attempt to try to fix the Capcom's wonderful game that seems to work so great that there are thousands of posts of it being broken. But complaining aside, I will try to review another fix that I found by Megatron. I And I hope that it works for you guys. Please don't be too critical on me. I'm trying to find you guys a fix. All the links uh, in including the person whose fix I'm gonna try to use I will include at the bottom in the comments below this is um we will start with the fi first step and slowly move from one part to another so that there is no confusion. Also, this method won't harm any other game, so uh, or any other game or any software or hardware. So you know, let's begin with the steps. Now, the fix that I'll be talking about is located on Steam by Megatron, as mentioned earlier. Uh, as you can see, uh, he has a very long post, and I will definitely try to shorten this post for everybody, in the sense of also showing how it works. So, f let's start with the very first step. You how to extend your display. This way works with both Windows 7 and Windows 8. What you need to do is right click anywhere on your desktop in the open area, then can select screen resolution. Please note that this fix is mostly for laptops and you know, it's for the uh, uh, laptops that's been having issues with Optim Optimus. This fix is mostly for the people with laptops and for people with Optimus. So if you don't have Optimus and you try to apply this fix, it's not a guaranteed fa uh, that it's going to even help you in any way, unfortunately. But let's begin anyway, perhaps maybe it could help you. Once you open the screen resolution, please click Detect. Uh, monitors. This is, of course, you would click after that you have connected a second monitor only. Otherwise, there will be nothing else for it to detect. Let's now detect. Select uh, extended display. Not duplicate these displays, but select the extended display. Uh, you could also click on your keyboard, uh, Windows P which will pop this up and then you could select any kind of uh, format that you want to use. Also, if, if you're looking for additional help, whoops, you can go to this Guide Help Dual Monitor site by Microsoft and they of course could lead you through additional explanations. The link is of course available right here on top. If you have any issues please, or with understanding what I'm doing, please also feel free to refer to this link and it will definitely help you. These steps, even though it's for Windows 7, are not that much different for Windows 8, especially if you use the window key plus P to do it. Now, on your desktop, make a new folder and drag both the shortcut from Dead Rising and the shortcut from the control panel. You could do this as following. Any empty space anywhere on your desktop, as long as not your mouse is not over an icon, you right click, go over new, and then select folder. After that, you would name your folder whichever name you would like, such as, for example, I would like to name it DR3. After that, you click on start and you drag control panel into that folder. Please note you will not change the location of the control panel. You will just automatically create a shortcut in that folder to the control panel. After that, if you would like, you could either drag Dead Rising into the folder or create a shortcut of a shortcut into that folder. Now, when you have two shortcuts in this folder, please drag this folder to your other monitor that you have earlier extended. Now, you don't see this shortcut 
because it's in the other display that it's not being recorded. Fraps records currently the main display. What you should do now is go back to your display, switch to your second monitor, and declare this monitor as your main display and click apply. As you can see, the recording has switched over to the other monitor and now you have DR3 located on the main monitor. Now double click and run Dead Rising 3. While it's running, give it for th allow it 30 seconds or more for it to load. Just wait with the black screen. Don't try to shrink the game because that will crash it. And then select Windows P during it so you could change the resolution. Not just the resolution, but also the form of gameplay. I mean the um, the monitors. The control panel here exists is to make it simpler for you to access uh, the resolution. To change it and to switch to the extended monitor you could achieve this again with Windows P key or by right clicking and going into the uh, screen resolution settings as I have demonstrated earlier. This method is of course is a not 100% guarantee. If this method works for you or doesn't work for you, please note to switch back to your original screen resolution. You right click go to resolution, click on your main display and select it as again your main display. Now if you want you could of course Furthermore, disable the second monitor by selecting it and clicking Show Desktop on 1. This now monitor will be disabled because of it once you click Apply. Keep Changes. After that, you could also, of course, in the settings here, remove the monitor altogether from your list, but you will need to redetect the monitor next time. And of course once again this fix was brought to you by, by Megatron. I seen a lot of people having issues understanding what needed to be done and that is what needed to be done what I've just demonstrated to you. Uh, from my what I've been reading and gathering from the forums this seems to help some of the people but not everybody. I'm still in, of course in search of something more solid and something more viable for you guys to use. As he shows as he explains here please note that he tried it with 337.88 patch but has my but not really with the mall later one. You might need to downgrade or upgrade depending on where you are in the patch system. Therefore, if this doesn't work for you, please note again, this is for mostly a fix for laptop and for Optimus users, but not any really anybody else. This Capcom has been promising lately that they are working on a patch to fix this. But unfortunately, nothing that they have done so far or really anybody else's posts have legitimately fixed anything. On my, my two videos that I've made earlier, fix some stuff for some people for a very small major of very small group of people actually because the problem is so wide and spread that you well you never know what it could be causing it it's actually so many things that nobody really will know uh, this is of course worth trying if you guys are stuck and really do want to check out the game the gameplay is great but being great is not enough the game is definitely has its issues, it's definitely broken, it's so definitely a well widespread known bug and I've been giving my best effort to find a solution for people to help them in any way I can. 
unfortunately I can't help everybody so please guys don't be upset at me I'm definitely trying uh, hopefully the new patch will come out soon but I sincerely doubt it but we could all still hope I hope you guys liked this video I hope it helped you in any way maybe it helped you with some other game or something that you guys were trying to do well please click like please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for tuning in